There's no doubt that all forms of motorsport are safer today than ever before. On two wheels, one of the main breakthroughs has been the personal airbag protection system. Now Alpine Stars are launching their Tech Air airbag protection system for both race and now road use. The Tech Air system is the world's first and only independent airbag system providing complete full upper body protection. Following testing on the racetrack, the system has seen a half a million kilometres of testing on public roads and a multitude of full scale and very scary looking crash tests. With no equipment installation requirements on the bike, the Tech Air Street system offers the rider unparalleled levels of freedom to ride any type or make of motorcycle on a wide variety of surfaces. Jeremy Appleton from Alpine Stars was at Peter Stevens Motorcycles in Dandenong to talk about the system to local media. Well, today saw the launch of Alpine Stars Tech Air airbag technology here at Peter Stevens. So this is now the time when we're introducing the technology into Australia. Uh, so a significant day for us, making sure that you know the information about both the street and the racing product was uh, was given over. We've seen the race version around for a while. Um, at what point did you start developing the street version? Well, the street, the, the research for the street system started in around about 2007, 2008, and then ran in parallel with development of the racing system. Uh, but we introduced it to the market in 2014. Um, obviously, being a street technology, um, it had to fulfil uh, some very specific objectives, particularly the impact performance. Um, so w it took time to develop the technology for that, but since then it's rolled out successfully all over Europe and, as I say now, we'll be here in Australia. What are the challenges of getting something like this together for the street rather than the racetrack? I mean, although you're dealing with you know, incredibly high speeds on the racetrack, it's a very different sort of uh, crash in the main, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, absolutely right. It, it, generally speaking, on the racetrack, um, the majority of accidents are a loss of control. So, you know, cornering at high speed, you either lose the front end or the rear end and, um, you know, low side or high side. Um, on the street, we see less of that. Um, but we obviously see a lot more impact type accidents where um, a car's pulled out in front of the bike or somebody's stationed at the traffic lights and for whatever reason the car driver just completely misses it and you know hits hits the rider up the back so yes a completely different set of parameters so the um, the impact performance for the street was something that took particular research is there any fear at all about the uh, bags going off inadvertently? I mean, you know, rough roads uh, that we get with lots of very bad roads in Australia, potholes, corrugations, that sort of thing. Is that something that could inadvertently trigger the uh, the vest to go off? The the plat the electronic platform is very stable, um, and uh, we've done well over eight hundred thousand kilometres of road testing, uh, and put the system through some very extreme enduro and stunt riding, um, and we've proved that it is very stable. So while you could never say that it is you know a hundred percent impossible that uh, something would happen. Um, you know the, um, the we know that the system is very stable so it's highly unlikely and and it is certified for off-road use so you know you can go off into the outback and you know onto you know ungravel roads and uh, and use the system perfectly confidently we've seen uh, there's a particularly litigious society out there at the moment and we've got mandated safety regulations all over the place do you think we're going to find uh, get to a stage where this sort of technology is going to be mandated for road use I think that's a big question. Um, I think, you know, governments we're, we're seeing are increasingly interested in this type of technology. Um, I think it's going to take some time before, you know, this sort of protection can realistically be rolled out, um, you know, absolutely as a requirement for riding. Um, and that isn't necessarily, um, you know, the be all and end all. I'd, you know, you don't, what we don't want to see is any sort of barrier for people learning to ride motorcycles or for riding daily. Um, the point about airbag technology, we know it is far more effective as a protection system than normal passive protectors. Um, but I think we have to also make sure that people understand that whenever you get on a bike, you should be wearing proper protective equipment. If, if you choose to wear an airbag, so much the better. One rider who's experienced firsthand the benefits of the system is current World Superbike Champion Jonathan Ray in Melbourne for the opening round of the 2017 Championship at Phillip Island.
Jonathan, first of all, welcome back to Australia and congratulations on another World Superbike Championship. First of all, um, how is the pre-season testing going and how confident are you going into this weekend's race? Um, yeah, pre-season's been really good actually. We, we have a second year of the new ZX-10R and um, we're a lot more clued up to what, exactly what that bike needs. Kawasaki and our technical partners have worked hard throughout the off-season, so I feel like I'm in the best possible shape we can be in. Of course, we can always improve. Um, but you can never be too confident either. I mean, there's so many guys now that can win races. You know, Superbike 17 is going to be a strong year, so um, I'm ready for the challenge anyways. From what you've seen from testing so far uh, down to the island, do you, uh, who is going to be your main opposition? Honestly, I'm just focused on myself. I'm trying to do the best I can, but straight away you got to look at the, I guess the Ducati guys look really strong. Uh, my teammate, there's so many to list, but Right now, just concentrating on ourselves. You're here at the moment of Peter Stevens in Dandenong for the uh, the launch of the Tech Air airbag system here in Australia. Uh, for the street, you've uh, obviously been around in the uh, in the race scene for a while. How much uh, how much of a difference has it made to the safety of racing, and how big a breakthrough is it? Do you think that it's now available for people on the street? I mean, I think for the street, it's incredible because it's it's an uncontrolled environment, so risks a lot higher than when we race in the on the track, but okay, we, we're riding on uh, at the limits uh, all the time. That's our job, so it's very important to be safe. With with uh, Alpine Stars Tech Air, I feel like I'm in the best possible hands for an accident should it happen. And you know, the last two accidents I've had, I've been with Tech Air, and I felt really, uh, you know, afterwards my recovery was, you know, I I didn't feel like I was all the aches and pains should I have not been wearing it. So I'm. Yeah, it's, it's something I really believe in. It's become part of my, you know, it's my must-have accessory, really. Um, it's part of my ritual now to check that uh, the system's plugged in before I go out, and, and, and then I feel safe. For further information on Alpine Stars Tech Air technology, check out the Alpine Stars website, www.alpinestars.com.